your tissue boxes ready. This is the last lesson of econ for this semester. I know you'll be crying throughout the whole video. And you'll watch it many times throughout the summer. This is actually pretty short. We're just going to talk about what our government does in order to fight a recession, and they use fiscal and monetary policy. And we've already talked a little bit about both of those. So let's go into how we fight recessions using those different policies. So monetary policy, to remind you, is when we influence the money supply. So changing how much money is out there in the economy. Whereas fiscal policy is changing our government spending and changing the tax levels in order to stimulate the economy. One monetary policy is done by the Fed, which is an independent uh, government agency that is not under the control of Congress or the White House. And then one fiscal policy is controlled by the federal government. And it's a combination of Donald Trump and Nancy Pelosi with the president, along with Congress working together, at least if we can say they really can work together. I like this picture of Nancy going like, and Donald looking furious behind him. Thanks to economic theory, our governments know what to do in order to fight a recession. And they can use fiscal and monetary policy in order to shorten the duration of a re recession and also to alleviate the severity of that recession. So in order to make the recession shorter and also to make its effects less burdensome on those who are affected most by the recession. And they each have many different tools, but it comes down to monetary policy changing interest rates along with the money supply and fiscal policy changing government spending and taxes. It's hugely important to have effective monetary policy and fiscal policy because if you do it well, you can actually help people. You can help billions of people in the United, in the United States and throughout the world in making their lives better. So it's pretty important to make sure that your policies are effective during a recession to help those who are unemployed. Both fiscal policy and monetary policy have the same goal. They want to stimulate aggregate demand. So we took a look at this graph previously in this chapter, and you have aggregate supply, aggregate demand. You have the original price. You have the original real GDP for all goods and services in an economy. And then there's some type of shock in that economy that hurts the people. And now you're in a recession. And in a recession, the aggregate demand comes down. You have a lower price. You have a lower GDP. Well, the goal is in fiscal policy and monetary policy to bring aggregate demand back up to P and Y. So bring it back to where it was prior to the recession. You might be thinking, well, we want it higher, but the answer kind of is no, because you don't want to simulate it too much, because then that just leads to inflation and it doesn't work. While it is important for our governments to try and simulate the economy, they don't always work. And therefore, the economy doesn't always heal immediately, and it can happen for a number of different reasons. And during that time that the stimulus doesn't work, you could have businesses like my beloved soup plantation, hashtag sad face, go out of business. So one of three reasons why the monetary policy and fiscal policy might not work. Well, number one is that inflation might be caused. So um, before I showed you this graph, and I said that we want to bring it back to an aggregate demand of, one, uh, uh, of where price is P and real GDP is Y. Well, you could actually, all you could do is just raise the real GDP. Uh, excuse me, you could raise the price level, but not actually raise real GDP. And if you're raising price level, but not real GDP, then you're not producing anything new. And that's not good. So that could be one reason why the monetary policy and fiscal policy don't work. A second reason why is that a stimulus package is expected, and because companies are expecting people to have extra money in their pockets, like $1,200 extra a month, companies can be like, sweet, I can start charging more for my products that I already have, but I don't need to produce more, but I know I can charge more because now everyone has more money. And once again, all you've done is cause inflation, and that doesn't help. So if they expect there would be a stimulus and everyone just raises their prices and output doesn't increase, 
That really doesn't solve your economy because GDP is not going up. And then you might have companies like JCPenney go out of business. And finally, the stimulus isn't effective enough. That could be a reason as well for why fiscal and monetary policy don't work. So here is a headline from Time Magazine that Americans agonize over coronavirus, coronavirus stimulus payments worried that $1,200 isn't enough. So if the $1,200 stimulus isn't enough, well, you really haven't done enough job, a uh, good enough job stimulating your economy to get people to spend money and increase real GDP and prices. So that's it for fiscal and monetary policy and stimulating the economy in a recession, which means yes, you have made it to the end of new material in economics. Congratulations. You have one more week next week where we will assess your learning on this. Maybe I'll make a video just for the fun of it to say bye. But if I don't, enjoy this very lame bye as your goodbye.